breaking news, the latest on that dramatic major collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore after it was hit by a cargo ship, the Dolly. At least two people plucked from the water. The port there in Baltimore, one in serious condition. Several other people are missing at this hour. And joining us now for the latest on the search and rescue is the mayor of Baltimore, Brandon Scott. Mayor, thank you very much for joining us. Of all the things you thought you might be facing dealing with as mayor of Baltimore, I can't imagine you would have thought of this. If you could just level with us here, we, we've been hearing various reports about who's missing, who was on the bridge. For a time, I thought maybe nobody, but is the reality that you're expecting fatalities in this situation? Well, this is an active search and rescue. And un until uh, the folks who are the experts, our divers, both in the Baltimore City Fire Department, the County Fire Department, the Coast Guard, uh, our state uh, support folks who are out here doing the same thing, say otherwise, we are in search and rescue and holding out hope that we're actually able to save lives here. Uh, but uh, we are always uh, going to be prepared to help families through whatever the reality grows into. Mayor Scott, as you prepare for what could be a devastating reality, are you in touch with family members of the people that you believe may have uh, fallen into that, that water that divers are, are currently looking We're for? Yeah, we know our partners at the state uh, because this, they were working working uh, through, through uh, work on the state road or uh, have been in contact. We'll be doing the same and reaching out. Everyone is here working together, uh, federal, state, and local, and we'll be supporting those families throughout this pro process and beyond. Mr. Mayor, can I ask you a question about uh, a timeline, if you can clarify that for us? We know, uh, according to reports, that the bridge collapsed at about 1.20 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, during one of the press conferences, it was mentioned that there was a mayday call that went out from the ship to authorities, uh, and that there was a moment of time where you were able, authorities were, to clear that bridge. Can you help us understand from the moment you received the May Day call to the moment that authorities started to clear the bridge, can you give us a timeline of that? Well, listen, we know we'll go back and go through the forensic of the timeline but to give you the exacts. Uh, but what we do know is that uh, law enforcement personnel were able to stop traffic from coming, any more traffic from coming onto the bridge. And we know that that saved lives. That's good news, Mayor. Uh, but with that in mind, is the search and rescue at the moment primarily focused on construction workers doing duct work on the bridge or the unfortunate few who might have been in vehicles who were not stopped? This, this, we, right now, uh, our understanding that all of those in the water were part of the construction work. So those are the, the souls that we're looking, uh, looking for, and that's where the focus is for us. Uh, that's where the focus is for every single part of the government. You've heard it from our governor. You've heard it from our senator. You've heard it from me and the county executive. We are all focused together in partnership on the most important thing, and right now that's the preservation of life. And we know the, the ship's owner, Synergy Marine Group, said that all crew members were accounted for there. And I understand, I'm, I can only imagine just how tired you must be, having spoken to uh, a number of journalists. Um, can you talk about the impact this has on your city when it comes to traffic? Uh, because we know that that bridge was, was built. It took about five years for it to be built in the 70s. And it was as a way to sort of help with some of the traffic concerns. Um, what are you all telling commuters and what are you doing in reference to how that will impact things there? Well, listen, there will be significant detours, right? Folks who are used to taking this bridge will now have to go back to taking 95 and 895, and there will be delays. But right now, uh, that, that doesn't matter. Right? Traffic delays. Folks can sit in congestion. Folks can take a little time longer to get to work or get to the baseball game later this week. Right now, we are focused on lives, and that's what matters. A bridge can be rebuilt. A traffic can be dealt with. But a life cannot be replaced. And that's why our focus is right now solely on those individuals and their families. You know, Mayor, you are a Baltimore native. You were a city council person before this. This is your community. You know it well. You know that bridge. You know that body of water. What's your message here in our closing moments to your community, to people who are worried this morning, who are scared? Well, listen, it's, it's okay to be scared and afraid, and we want them to pray. But know, as we always do, a Baltimore will come back stronger, more resi we're more resilient, and we're more connected now than ever. Uh, we will rebuild not just this bridge, but the community to make sure that we are showing everybody once again that nothing can break the spirit of Baltimore or Maryland.
Absolutely. Mayor Brandon Scott, our prayers are with you and the city, and we thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you.